Hello everybody, I hope this finds you well. I'm Heather Knox, Chief Exec in NHS Lanarkshire, just giving you a weekly update on where we are in terms of our data and the pandemic and a few other issues. If I start off with the data then, uh, 804 new patients reported today, 85 patients now across the three acute sites, so that's a big improvement from last week where we were well over 100, so it's good to see those numbers now coming down under 100. And our ICU numbers are just two uh, for COVID patients. Um, so that's really good. And as, as I said previously, the Omicron variant hasn't had as much impact on ICU as previous variants. So that again is positive. Um, number of care home outbreaks at the moment is 10. Again, that's a huge improvement from where we've been. Uh, we were very much higher than that just a few weeks ago. And what we've seen of this variant is the case numbers have gone up very quickly and they now seem to be coming down relatively quickly as well. But we have seen in other countries that there has been a bit of a plateau, so we're just waiting to see if we do start to plateau over the next few days. Vaccination programme is continuing. Uh, 398,000 people have now had the booster across NHS Lanarkshire, but the uptake of that is very variable according to the age groups. So if you do know a younger person who still hasn't had their booster, please encourage them to just go online. It's really easy. Go online, go onto NHS Inform, follow the links and get yourself a booster organised. Um, it protects everybody, so it's not just about protecting them, it's about protecting vulnerable people in society who are still susceptible to COVID. In terms of the national data, the national data is kind of up and down a bit. Our four hour data um, was improving, but slightly worse again this week. Um, 12 hour weights are up as well this week, so our flow into EDs uh, seems to be still a bit up and down and we want to do some work to see if we can improve that within NHS Lanarkshire. Covid numbers across Scotland, about 19% of ITU capacity is filled with Covid patients, um, so we're not seeing numbers quite as high as that in NHS Lanarkshire, so I'm hoping again that that may be a good thing. Um, we said we would review the escalation of general practice into level two uh, this week. We've decided with our GP colleagues just to do a bit of sense checking um, and set up a, a survey around GP practices to check how they all feel about de-escalation. And I know that we've had a really good response from that. So if you are a GP listening to this, thank you for sending the survey back. We'll make a decision about that on Monday. We haven't got quite all the replies in yet, so we're keen to do that extra bit of work with our GP colleagues before we make that decision, but very conscious that a lot of people will be keen to see GP practices revert back to normal. The other thing I th I'm hoping that we can move ahead with next week is our orthopaedic surgery and some ring fence beds on the Hale Myers site. So again, that would be really positive to see us making some progress in addressing waiting lists there. Uh, and also just going forward over the next few weeks, our team is going to have quite a focus on looking now at our recovery programme over the next three to four years and what we can do both within Lanarkshire, but actually with colleagues across Scotland to see if we can bring people back in for the treatment they are so badly needing. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me today and I hope you have a good day.